Call me Brian. We're gonna drop the act today. Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth. But I am meek and gentle with these butchers. Thou art the ruin of the noblest man that ever lived in the tide of times. There was a, uh, there was an incident that happened that led to uh, law enforcement stuff. Woe to the hand that shed this costly blood. That the arguments that are happening with a lot of the people on the show are real for them, and the conversations they're having are wrong. Uh, they're not good people. What they say and what they do, uh, we're talking about people that only want to argue about the most horrific things. Over thy wounds now do I prophesy, which like dumb mouths do ope their ruby lips to beg the voice and utterance of my tongue. A curse shall light upon the limbs of men. You know, it's not fun, it's really negative. And uh, it's a lot of fun to talk about because it's so crazy that uh, you can't help but talk about it, right? But um, it's just not okay. I think, I think a lot of people need to figure out, you know, go outside, go outside take fresh air in, uh, figure out what they're, what's going on in their lives that's, uh, that's making them go out of their way to commit criminal acts, to, to possibly harm children, to, to fuck with streamers in a way that is just fucked. Yes, I was sent, I was sent stuff last night on air. Yes, I was spotted yesterday and the day before and the day before that. Um, this is an open investigation. I can't talk. I'm not going to talk about it uh, for obvious reasons. I'll let the police do their job. Um, you know, is it my fault? Is it their fault? Is it anybody's fault? I think everybody's at fault. Blood and destruction shall be so in use and dreadful objects so familiar that mothers shall but smile when they behold their infants quartered with the hands of war. Uh, I'm going to take a small break uh, from streaming for a little bit. Um, I'm going to come back. We're going to cover the alien stuff, we're going to kind of punch up, if you will. And Caesar's spirit, ranging for revenge with Arte by his side, come hot from hell, shall in these confines with a monarch's voice cry, Hell on! And let slip the dogs of war. Let this foul deed shall smell above the earth with carrion men groaning. At the end of the road leaves us two paths. On one end, we continue this cycle of constant grinding of the machine we call the sector. A psychological and spiritual ideal of pure, unfiltered nihilism and hedonistic followings, where no morals matter, no ethics, no beliefs. Ideals are not just shattered, but intentionally corrupted or wrapped to fit the narrative of the day's grift. A monster that has now changed and debased itself over a decade of Gamergate and likes to follow. There is no happy ending in the sector, only the faking of pseudo-intellects and psychopathic cults of people worshipping to a false god who gave them nothing but videos about SJWs and internet famous individuals. <laughs> Everyone claims to know everyone now because we haven't let this die. Everyone is a monster of a human being in their own rights now. No one touches the sewer we call the sector and walks away without getting a change in mindset, no matter how hard you cope it away. The reality is this. The sector is cancer because it attacks your very belief system to the core and causes you to give up the things that matter most to humans, no matter where you are in life. Hope. Belief in greater goods. Belief that things can change and will change for the good. Belief that your hobbies, your ideals are not to be mocked to be respecting ourselves and our own logical conclusions, and more importantly, forgiveness to end the feuds once and for all. It's a time waster of an abyss that will suck your soul into its very core if you stare long at it, an amalgamation of psychological horrors only whispered in Lovecraftian teachings. The dehumanization fetishized to a degree where pedophiles and the worst kind of degenerates are now given a platform to give hot takes on the next big deal in the sector's world. It is nothing short of a bubonic plague on our lives when it is left to its own devices, unchecked and unfiltered. The other path, freedom from the cycle of continuously needing to see all the content creators doing something every single day, every single second of the hour, 
It's a road of stoic, iron-pilled idealisms where you learn to see the meat grinder for what it is. Ideological subversion. Freedom of choice. Freedom of care. Freedom of individualistic rights to own own self to say, fuck you, ham, in the chat. I will talk about what I want with conviction, and you'll drink it up. Why? Because they are caught in the sector's gaze. This path is the road to release from the ideas of needing to grift a sewer filled with rats and the need to watch it unfold. It's the vaccine to the disease that we, the viewer and creator, have let go on for far too long. It's the choice of green plains running far and wide. Fertile land where animals roam plentiful and the grass sways with the cool breeze. Mountains adorn its canvas with ice and rock as the rivers and creeks flow with its springtime runs. Freedom to love yourself and your fellow man again and not see them as your content, but as a person telling a story. A story of, about comedic value in our lives when everything outside of it has become dull, repetitive, or just plain hard, and you need a break from that reality. You take it in doses. The community self-moderates the DGENs out of the conversations. We look out to the grass and begin to once again touch it. An end, if you will. This is the one thing it does fear. Endings.